Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. This is confessional time. This is, um, this is me letting you know just how ignorant I can be. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about um, a couple of days of pain that I inflicted upon myself because I missed one word. Yep, missed one word. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick little run through on, on a couple of things, but... Um, Here's the message for today. Um, first up, I did assume that I screwed up. I just couldn't figure out where. I mean, that's the biggest thing is, is when you make these kinds of mistakes, it's hard to understand where you made the mistake. And that's, that's the thing. But, but starting from the proposition that, geez, something isn't working the way I think it ought to, in this case, a container, is not working the way I think it ought to, what did I screw up? Not, well, it's broken, um, this sucks, or this is horrible, or you know any of the other number of things pointing at others, because it's all right here is the problem. Yeah, I messed up. I missed one word, really. One word. I'm going to show you how I can connect to a hosted container, but I'm also going to show you the one word that I screwed up. Let's, let's take a look at how to connect up to the container. So I have Docker installed on my machine and I'm going to control it mainly through PowerShell. So I'm here in PowerShell. Let's see what um, Docker um, images I've got currently. Containers, sorry. And um, what I've got is right here, this container, which I didn't give it a name when I set it up. This one is status is up and so therefore it's running um, so we can, you know, we can connect to that. Now, um, the way you want to connect to it is you need your IP address locally. And so we can see that my IP address is 192.168.10. So with that, um, this thing is running locally, and I can open up, let's open up, say, Azure Data Studio. Now, Azure Data Studio can connect up to, um, to Docker containers, to Linux, just fine. Um, it doesn't care. It just wants to connect up to SQL Server. So I've got it there, 192.168.1. It's going in with the SA password. And sure enough, there's my test DB. Um, I don't know if I've put any tables on there or not. doesn't look like it. So what the heck? Let's create a new query and create table. And yeah, there is type ahead. EBO.test table. And we'll give it an ID and an int. And we'll give it um, my value and a var car 50. And we can run this and it will create a table. And that's all there is to it. I mean, we're connected up locally to Docker. Now, it may seem like that's ridiculously simple, but I missed one word. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So as you can see, I've got a container running on Windows, Windows 10 Pro, and that container is running Linux, and it's running SQL Server on Linux, and it's SQL Server 2019 in this case. So, yay, cool, fun toys, you know, lots of stuff. What's the word I messed up? Well, so you saw how I connected up with an IP address, yes? And that IP address is the IP address of my host machine. While reading the instructions, I read, find the IP address on the machine. On Linux, use IF config or IP address. I don't know why those use IP config. I'm like, okay, hey, cool. You know, uh, off I went tearing through stuff. Find the, find the address of the machine. Find the address of the machine. Yeah. Find the address of the machine that hosts your container is the full sentence. Hosts. Hosts. Not find the address for the machine, you know. Oh. Hosts. Yes. So once I had the hosts, I was able to connect up. And um, that's my lesson. Read everything. Read it all. Don't, don't think you got it right. Um, you got to read it all. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.